Hi folks, I've been invited down to Manny today to have a chat with some of the staff about things that they've been working on recently and some things coming up in the near future. And first of all, we're going to chat to Dan about the board games that Manic have been producing. So Dan, mm -hmm. what do you want to tell us about? Yeah, so board games is getting more and more important for Mantic. Uh, we've always been into miniature war gaming. It's where we started. It's, it's still, you know, the big bulk of what we do now, what yeah. we're very passionate about. But we love board games and we love theme and we love universes and, yeah, dripping with story, all this <laughs> kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, and it's really important to us. And it's also because this is a great entry point for younger gamers. I think most of us grew up probably playing board games probably before we got into miniature war gaming. Yeah, definitely. So this is a great start for people and... You think how people get into picking a Monopoly piece. Well, once we put proper miniatures in a game like this, it brings it to life. That's it, 100%. So we've got a few things here with us today as well. So what do we want to start with first? Yeah, we've got a few things. Um, and the goal of all of them is kind of is, is the same. They're all very kind of characterful. It's friendly. It's welcoming. It's just, yeah, it's just great fun. Yeah. Um, and we do a few things which are based on our own worlds. And we do others which are based in yeah, fan favorite yeah. Yeah, themes and yeah, universes as well to kind of bring that in. Okay. Um, so we could start with kind of a, a couple of our own, really. So yeah. one of the one of the big things at the moment is Barroom Brawl. Yeah, you'll have seen this. It's our kind of our, our advent calendar that we, you know, in a lunatic way launched <laughs> in the middle of August, um, and that's been very very popular. We've we've let a few out into the wild. We had some retailers that wanted some, but most of them have uh, have sold out, and it's gone very very quick. Yeah. Uh, and the idea was to what if what if we put a miniature game in an advent calendar. It's a brilliant idea. Uh, and we did, and it's all about, it's uh, you know, set in a kind of a, a, a tavern like you might have at the beginning of an RPG game. Yep. Uh, and you've got characters kind of making their way, I, I won't say who because there's some surprises behind some <laughs> of the doors, but they're making their way, they're getting food and drink, bringing it back to the table, yeah. you know, barging each other, you know, watch out for the bouncer and you know, go, you know, go and get your stuff from the dwarven barman and all this kind of thing. It's, it's, it's very thematic, it's, it's silly, it's yep. fun. And then in the run up through December, you build and paint the things over the course of the month, and then by Christmas Day, you've had your turkey, you sit down, you play a yeah, great fun miniatures game with your friends. And nice little Christmas tipple and, and play a ball, ball exactly. and ball, yeah. Yeah, and its uh, reaction's been great, and we'd, yeah. we'd love to do more of that kind of stuff in future, those, yeah. those one-shot, fun, yeah, silly, thematic, yeah. Um, yeah, just brilliant stuff. So how, so this is this is already gone up for pre-order originally. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, did you see uh, the, the initial wave is, is gone? Is there a second wave coming? Yeah, it's gone on the it's gone on the web store. Yeah. Um, so now, yeah, if you there'll be a few at some um, yeah friendly local gaming stores yeah. who, who got in on the action. Um, but otherwise, this was this was a trial run. And yeah. it's, it's gone very well. So everything in this one is hand cast resin. It was just going okay. Let's see, let's see if there's an appetite for it. And, <laughs> Yeah, it's gone really well. So fantastic. So we know we know people like that, so we can look at it again and do and yeah. do something totally different next time. Get ready for next Christmas. Yep. Next up, what have we got? Uh, so the next one will be Dungeon Saga Origins. Yes. So this is a this is one that's very near to our hearts. Dun Dungeon Saga, the the original version was hugely popular, and we've done reprint after reprint after yeah. reprint. But it was kind of it was showing its age, and it was time to time to take it back to basics. Yeah, inject some new life into it, and yeah, bring that dungeon delving adventure to also to a slightly younger audience. Yeah. So the, the core mechanics have been reworked, they've been polished. Um, the miniatures in there are more detailed and better than what we've had before. Yeah. Um, and the storytelling as well. So the Kickstarter backers, you'll be getting an enormous box version, which has <laughs> got extra campaigns and stories and characters and yeah. all this fantastic stuff. And then there'll be a more basic retail version, which is your starting point, which yeah. we're hoping to be uh, up on retail shelves as probably one of the most affordable high quality dungeon crawlers that you can get your hands on and just give people just that great entry point to you know go battling through Panathor with friends and family and have crazy adventures down in the in the underworlds yeah i remember when i played it, it, it it's the perfect mix of kind of nothing too complicated mm. to get younger players involved as well yep. but still with some depth and some character and a good storyline behind it yep. that keeps it interesting for for seasoned gamers as well so. yeah absolutely and in the future you can always add complexity <laughs> in it's very hard to take it out exactly so this is a reset point and we go back we do the stuff we do best and we do it really really well yeah um but the complexity comes from making tough decisions not from remembering tough rules yeah. and that's that was very much the goal and it, it's just it's nice it's smooth it's fun yeah um, and you can play it with you know teens and young adults and yeah great. and have those family experiences. Great point. Um, so timing wise, um, you were talking about the Kickstarter backers. When, when is it looking? So this roughly? was a, this was a super ambitious yeah. new target for us. We did the campaign in March. Yes, and we said we're going to try and get it under your Christmas tree. Yes, and everyone went you're nuts. <laughs> um, but we're on track. Fantastic. But we're on track. We're on schedule, and it looks like we are going to pull it off. 
Amazing. So yes, we've got all our fingers crossed, but so far, yeah, not not very long to go, but it's all looking good. Look forward to seeing that in people's hands very soon then. Absolutely, yes. Okay. That's not that's not the end. We've got more. There is. Yeah. Well those are those are two games set in our own world, yes. set in yeah, set in Panathor. Um, you know, great fun and adventures. And then we do lots of other things as well. So we, we started off years and years ago, we did yeah, Mars Attacks and that kind of led on to bigger things, and then we had The Walking Dead, and then one thing leads to another, then it was Hellboy. Yeah. You know, we've got this reputation of we can take a, an intellectual property and we can do it justice, and then we get trusted by more and more people, and that's going to allow us to do some even bigger stuff on the radar for the future, <laughs> which, who knows, Ronnie may or may not talk about at some point. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, we've got, we've got big plans. We've got lots of dreams and ambitions and stuff we would love to do. Exciting. Um, and we'll make as many of them real as we can. Yeah. Uh, some of which are already coming out. So a great one is Worms. Worms, yeah. Yeah. So Worms is when I first joined the company, I heard we were doing Worms, and that made my day. <laughs> I, I play this with a kid. It's yeah, I, I play this as a kid. Yeah. yeah with, with my best mate up in the up in the spare room on the on the PlayStation, and we would go on a rainy day, go and play Worms, uh, and it was great fun. It's just it's it's fun. It's silly, uh, and to bring that to tabletop is is brilliant. And trying to capture that craziness, taking that vertical action, laying it down. Make it make it horizontal, but yeah. then you're modelling wind, you're modelling things like you know grenades bouncing, not quite where you wanted them to go. Stuff, yeah, stuff's blowing up. You know, yeah. the landscape's being destroyed. Worms are plopping into the water. It's it's all there. Yeah, it happens. It's kind of it's fast. It's furious. It's silly. Uh, and again, it's all about just good fun. And that's a yeah. that's a great one for ages ten and up. So, so that's just recently been a Kickstarter. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and uh, the campaign's finished now. It has. Yep. Yeah, and timing wise, how will we, what, what's the ambition for that? So that one is for the the back end of next summer. Yeah. But yeah, you know, the files have gone off. Everything's still in final approvals with Team Seventeen. Yeah. Yeah, you know, checking the last teeny tiny details, make sure it's just yeah you know, polished just right. But they had lots of say obviously in the yeah. development. So there's not there's not very much kind of tweaking to do. Yeah. We just got to get it 100 percent right. Go to the factory, and then we begin the, the the fun bit of making it real. Brilliant. So that's Worms. Mm -hmm. Middle of next year, we're talking now. Yep, absolutely. Next. Oh, after after Worms. Um, well, actually, it's probably we're not kind of looking too much further forward than that. But yeah. Other stuff we've got going on. Okay. Uh, so big kind of yeah successful IPs for us is Hellboy has been with us for, yeah. a, few, for a few years now, uh, and that board game that is a Hellboy dungeon crawler set in yeah Mike Mignola's comic universe. Dripping with theme, all of the dungeon tiles are done in comic art. Yeah, uh, all of the sculpts are you know they've kind of been through and yeah, make sure they're absolutely on point for just the look and the feel and yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's it's just yeah, dripping with theme and you go through and you carry out investigations. Mm. There's a, there's a deck and you don't know what's going to be in it, so you work through. There's the you know, surprises and twists. Yeah. And, it's got that sense of kind of mystery and investigation and adventure. Yeah. Um, and then we've had a whole whole series of expansions for Hellboy as well. Yeah. And I, it's you know, it's still it's still very popular. I remember playing the kind of the prototype versions of Hellboy mm -hmm. with uh, with James Hewitt, who was one of the creators of the yeah, game. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, and playing through his kind of mm. the first time he really had a a demo set, shall we say, and we yep. played through that. Um, and then to see it, like when it when it finally arrived, because I bought the Kickstarter as yeah. well. When it finally arrived, to see all that stuff and unboxing it and looking to see what's yeah. inside, it's a beautiful product. Hellboy, great IP, um, and yeah, as you say, lo loads of bits of expansions and stuff, especially for, for folks who didn't maybe back the original Kickstarter, but also new stuff for Kickstarter backers as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so. That's Hellboy. Mm -hmm. It doesn't stop there. There's more to come. No, we've got this rather big tower <laughs> next to me here. Yeah. So uh, Umbrella Academy. So this one has just gone up for pre-order. Yeah. So of course we make sure stuff gets to backers first. Of course. Most important. Yeah. But then we let everyone else have a crack as well. So we have shipped out to backers. Uh, we've seen some pictures on Facebook of people gone. Oh, it's here. It's in the post. It's yeah. on the doorstep. Uh, as we've now put this up for pre-order for yeah. everybody else. So this is November the twentieth, I believe. Wow. Um, so we're doing taking pre-orders for that already. Wow. Uh, for the retail edition, and if we've got a few left over of kind of collector's editions yeah. um, from the from the print run, because inevitably you have to do however many thousand. Of course. And yeah. if we don't do exactly that number, we're not gonna, <laughs> we're not going to get rid of them. We're going to make sure they get into a yeah someone's hand who's going to play it and love it and of enjoy course, it. Yeah. So, so we may have a few collector's editions kind of ra rattling about, but at this point it's mainly about the retail edition. Yeah. And we save generally now we tend to save retail editions for the retailers, you know, for your friendly yeah. local gaming shop. Yeah. For, they want that pickup shelf appeal. Of course. Yeah. You want people to support those stores and get out there and play those games as well. Absolutely. And yeah. this is a great game for one to five players. Yep. 13 plus. Uh, you're working together to save the world. Of course you are. And you've got characters with, with different abilities. 
and the catch in this one, they don't always get on. <laughs> um, yeah, which is very much in line with the comics and in of line course, with the TV yeah. series for those who've seen it. Yeah. So yeah, good fun, nice and affordable, very self-contained. Yeah. This one isn't as miniatures heavy. This is yeah. more. Uh, it's, there's more kind of um, you know card-based acts, but of course, you know, all the heroes you've got your miniatures and they're all yeah. thematic and characterful. Yeah, I, again, I've played through this one as well, and it's one of those games that if you're a fan of the Umbrella Academy, um, you'll really feel the theme coming through. And if you're if you're not aware of the Umbrella Academy at all, there's still a great game in there as well. Loads of hand management, mm -hmm. making sure that you kind of you know what you're doing with, with with the cards that you've got in your hand, planning ahead, working together as a team. As you see, it's cards that are stopping you not always getting on as well. Kind yeah, of absolutely. those family feuds that always crop up in this. I think there's three se three series on Netflix as well. Yeah, people, of course. People who want to yeah. really just immerse into the, the world and what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So that's quite a lot. Then, so we've just talked about the uh, Ballroom Brawl Advent Calendar. We've been talking about Dungeon Saga Origins. We've been talking about Worms, Umbrella Academy, Hellboy. Mm -hmm. Is that it? It's not quite it. No, there's a little <laughs> bit more. Of course, there's more. Of course, there's more. There's more. Um, so, Walking Dead. Yes. So we are working with we're working with Skybound again, yeah. which is exciting news. It is exciting. So we had a whole series of Walking Dead kind of products, and yeah, mm -hmm. we had a couple of offshoot games and and things within that, and it was very very popular. Yeah. And you know, as, much, as licenses often do, you know, good usually all the good things come to an end. Of course. But we've gone back for more, and we're starting off with a kind of a card and dice game. Yep. Um, we we've, we've done dice games before. We did a dice game for Hellboy. Yeah. Uh, which is a really nice, self-contained, fun, quick filler game that is you know it's all based on pushy luck mechanics yeah. and we realize we've got so we've got a system there that works really well and a little bit like you see other kind of filler games are spun off into different universes with a slight twist each time on yeah it's been how, a bit of re and yeah yeah because also you might not like hellboy but you might love the walking dead yeah and you go oh okay well that's a nice that's a nice cheap pickup affordable you know from yeah. the counter at my local game shop yeah and you take it, yeah, you know, or you take it traveling, or it's you know, yeah, the intro to a games evening, yeah, um, all because you haven't got very much time and you want to squeeze a game in. And it's, it. it's brilliant for all those yeah. things. But again, push you like mechanics. There's a little bit of a twist each time. Different cards work different yeah. ways. Um, so it's us experimenting with a couple of non-miniature games yeah. in a small, accessible format. Yeah. So that's what the Walking Dead. Walking Dead, and also Invincible. Also Invincible. Oh, which yeah. Is, which is getting bigger and bigger on uh, because of the, especially because of the Amazon Prime series. Yeah, it, it was something I've not I've not wasn't that aware mm. of until I saw the Amazon Prime series and I've gone back and, to try and understand more about it and yep. didn't realize just how big and how popular it was. Yes. Yeah. It's funny how these things can fly under the radar. Yeah, and that yeah. takes a lot of the kind of the superhero conventions and turns them on its head. Exactly, and that's yeah. that's very much what it's it's, yeah. kind of, it's it's getting at. So it's a it's a bit of a twist. If you're expecting Superman, it's not Superman. Yeah. It's very different. But yeah, we've got all this kind of flavor and the arts Especially the great thing for the card and dice games is the comic art just kind of pops oh. on just all the kind of the cards and the artwork. Yeah, it's definitely. Really nice. And these games are the, kind of the perfect kind of thing, like you say, the, the, the game between games, you know, like or, or you're at a game store and yep. you've played your big game, you've got a bit of time left at the end of the night kind yep. of thing, you want to play something else. I've been to conventions where you're, you're waiting in queues mm. for the place to open. These are perfect just to kind of like, you know, when you see people sitting in queues playing yeah, card yeah. games, that kind of thing. Sitting having a beer on a night time or, or a cup of tea or coffee, of course. Yeah. Um, or it's an evening after work and you get yeah. you get you get home, you've been at a computer all day and, you know, and yeah. may, maybe you don't want to turn another screen on. <laughs> you go, Well, let's play a game. I haven't got three hours. Yeah. What have we got? Oh, we've got we've got this. Yeah, that, we can play that in half an hour, twenty five yeah. minutes. And you can still get that that social interaction, tabletop experience in yeah. a nice bite sized little format. Hundred percent. I think it just it shows now the breadth of kind of the, the stable of Mantix yeah. um board game sort of um offerings now as well is that you might be well known for miniatures and mm. kind of been doing that for quite a long time but the quality of those board games just kind of keeps coming now and mm. there's some big licenses in there there's some good like sort of your own ip stuff in there but i think that there's generally something for everybody whether you're a, a new gamer just getting started whether you've got a young family and you want to get them playing kind mm. of rolling dice and get them off the screens for a bit yep or if you're a bit more experienced and you want to kind of uh, you know you want to take something a bit more meaty to your games there your games night so, yeah, so we started, with, we've got some which are sort of 14 plus, then we've had yep. some with 13 plus, then yep. we've got some which are 10 plus, and then we're going to go, for, we're going to kind of broaden that out even more in the future. We've got yeah. some that we can't talk about just yet. We'll of be, course. We'll be showing a little bit of the open day, but we've yep. got, some, got some ideas for the future and so, yeah, things, yep. things that we're working on to just welcome yeah, even more people into getting around the table, playing great games, having that, yeah. that social experience, because that's the magic of it. That's where it kind of it comes to life. It's the, it is. It's the reactions you get from each other when things happen on the yeah. table, when plans work or don't work. Of course. Um, and just bring, bring that magic to a bigger, bigger group of people. 
That's why we play games. It we is. all want to have fun together, don't we? Absolutely. So, Dan, thank you very much for your time today. Cool, thank you. Thanks for showing us what um, what Mantic have been up to and a little bit of a glimpse into the future as well of what's coming down the line. Mm -hmm. And no doubt, when we've got more to talk about, we'll be back again and let you know. Sure we will. Thanks very much. Thank you.